Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll take a look at how to upload a really large file of the order of maybe, you know, higher than 200 or 300 MB that is available online somewhere, how to upload that into your Google Cloud platform uh, by completely bypassing your own local machine. So you're not constrained by, um, you know, bandwidth issues. You're not constrained by the size of the memory size in your local machine or the hard disk size in your local machine. So we'll see how to do that using Google Cloud platform. By the way, uh, the material I'm discussing is available in my recently published book on Amazon, Big Data Analytics on Google Cloud, hands-on introduction. So um, let's say, uh, take a data set such as um, the New York City Taxi and Limousine Commission data on trip data, New York City trip data. So I'm going to take this yellow taxi trip records for the month of January 2019. So these are huge files. Every single one of these files is around 600 MB or so. So we'll see how to upload this into the Google Cloud for further analysis. So our ultimate goal is to create a store, you know, a, a bucket in our storage um, and then save the file from the CSV file from here into that bucket. But to do that, we are going to take a slightly different route. We are going to start up a um, VM instance uh, on a compute engine in the Google Cloud platform. So the way you get to that is you click on this uh, menu here and then scroll down a little bit, come over, uh, come over here under compute and click on the compute engine, click on VM instances and you'll come over here. And once you're here, you can then you can click on create to create a virtual machine on Google Cloud. So we'll be using this virtual machine. Once it starts, we'll be using this virtual machine to uh, download the data from our website and upload that to our Google storage. Um, and we can completely bypass our own local machine. The data doesn't have to be downloaded to our local machine and then uploaded to Google Cloud. So you can just name it whatever you want. Um, I'm just going to choose all the, you know, the standard options here. If you um, scroll a bit further down below, you have to make sure to allow full access to all cloud APIs because this machine that you're going to create on the cloud, this virtual machine needs to have access to your storage browser. So for that, you need to click on this button here to allow full access. And once that is done, you can then hit create and that results in the creation of your new instance. So you can see that a new instance has been created. You'll see this green checkbox. And uh, to get this started, you can just click on this SSH button over here. And that will result in a new session being opened for you. That looks like this. And now your cloud computer is now live. When you see this, you know that it's live. So our first goal should be to download this uh, TLC data set into the um, into this, uh, into this uh, cloud machine. To do that, I'm going to um, execute a series of commands. So the first command I would like to execute is this wget command. So what it does is wget is a command, it's a Linux command that will then obtain the data or file from any URL that you supply. So I'm just going to supply this URL, which is actually the URL from here, by the way. Uh, I'm sorry, the URL from here. So this is the URL, I can copy the link address and then I can paste it here just to, uh, to show you. So that's the URL that we have obtained here, yellow trip data 2019-1. Um, so I'm going to do a wget. Now, sometimes if you try to type in this wget command, uh, it may not work. Let's just check if it works, wget command not found. So if that happens, then you may need to install the wget command. That is not a big deal. You can just use this command here, sudo apt-get install wget. So I'm just going to, I'm going to leave all these commands in the show notes at the bottom of the video so you can have access to that. And I'm going to copy that and paste it right here like this. So sudo apt-get install wget. Sudo is basically saying that you're the super user um, so you have certain rights to install software. apt-get is the command used in this version of Linux to obtain um, and install uh, a certain command, a certain package. And we're saying install, that's an install command. And then the package we're installing is called wget. So that's the explanation for this command. 
So you can hit enter and it's going to install the package. It's going to ask you a bunch of questions. You can say yes. And uh, so it's been installed. Now the next thing you can do is you can do this wget and and paste hit enter and you can see that it's downloading this huge file very quickly onto your cloud virtual machine it has downloaded now you can say ls space dash l to take a look to see whether your file has been downloaded and what's its uh, size it's actually 687 mb so you can see 687 followed by six decimal place uh, six digits so that makes it 687 MB, that's the file size, and it downloaded very fast, as you can see. The next thing you need to do is you need to create a bucket in your Google storage. So here's a command to do that. The first command is gsutil, which stands for Google Storage Utility, it's a utility program. And then you have to say MB, MB stands for make bucket. And then uh, the location of the bucket will be gs colon, that's to indicate that you have to create the bucket in Google storage, followed by two forward slashes, followed by the name of your bucket, followed by, followed by another forward slash. Now, the name of this bucket has to be unique to your particular case. So you cannot call this my data test bucket one, two, three, because I have already called it that. You have to give it a completely unique name. So maybe you can give it your initials, ABC dash, my data dash test bucket, and you can put today's date or something like that. So you can see that I've already created this. I'm not going to run this command, but I could run it like this. I could basically run it like this here. Uh, I'm not going to run it because I already have this particular bucket created. So here's my bucket, my data test bucket one, two, three. So it's already there. And then next, what I have to do is I have to transfer yellow trip data 2019-01 CSV. That is this file right here into this bucket that I've just created. So the way I do that is gsutil again, cp, cp stands for copy. So here mb stands for make bucket, cp stands for copy, copy file, copy this particular file into this particular folder. And so let me just uh, do something here. I'm going to go into my data test bucket. I'm going to delete uh, this just to show you that I'm going to, and then I'm going to recopy it there. So as you can see, my data test bucket one, two, three is now empty, but we are going to fill it up now. And we're going to take this command and I'm going to copy it and I'm going to run this on my Google Cloud machine. Control L will clean up your screen. I'm going to paste it here. Google's GSUtil, CP, yellow, trip data, and so on, the file name to the location. So here again, make sure to paste your location rather than what I pasted here. Um, your bucket so I'm going to hit enter and it's going to now save that huge file onto your cloud storage location that you have specified once that is done our purpose is served you can go back here you can refresh the bucket and you can see that there is a file called yellow trip data 2019 CSV 655 MB or so it's a text CSV file and you can go back here and uh, if you wish, you can remove the yellow trip data 2019 CSV from your uh, cloud computer. If you, you don't need to store the same file in two different locations, so you can just remove it if you want. And then if you do ls-l, you will not see that file anymore here. So that, uh, that completes it. So what we have done is very quickly fire up a virtual machine on our compute engine and then uh, we opened the virtual machine through SSH and then we ran these commands here. We first installed wget, then we downloaded the file from the uh, website, then we created a, a bucket in our Google storage. Then we copied this file, this huge file from our virtual machine to our Google storage and then we deleted our old uh, our file, CSV file from our virtual machine where we don't no longer require it. Having done that, um, there's one other step if you would like to save money is to not forget to um, stop your compute engine. So you don't need this anymore if all you really want is your data in your bucket. So be sure to select this and delete it. Because if you don't do that, you're going to incur charges. So be sure to delete it and that 
marks the end of this lesson so i hope you found this useful uh, please uh, if you get a chance check out my book on amazon which explains this and other things in more detail so there in that book i take you through a variety of steps to analyze large data sets on google cloud so i hope you find that useful thanks for watching